Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be on the state of Warzone. I did this video about a couple years ago where Warzone was such in a bad state. I had to sit down and just kind of break everything down because the devs of Warzone and overall people who make the game watch a lot of our videos. So I feel like this is a video that's a great time to get out there and just kind of just talk about the state of the game. And I would love for you guys to leave your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below. But before we get started, I want to shout out uh, your boy Aiden and Elijah Music for commenting Noti Gang. Guys, if you want to shout out the next video, go in the comment section below and comment Noti Gang. So with the state of Warzone being how it is, a lot of people ask me, why do I still play the game? Well, the main reason why I play the game right now is for competitive reasons. I qualified for LAN for World Series of Warzone. If you don't know what that is, it was the biggest competition Warzone has every single year to see who was the best Warzone players in the world. 40 teams got invited from around the globe and my team had played six, so we go to LAN tournament. Now, last year it was in London. I don't know where it's gonna be at this year. They have not announced the location, so we have no clue where the in-person tournament's gonna be at. But it's gonna be 120 players, so we're just gonna see how it plays out that's the only, truly the only reason why i still play this game call of duty will always be the game that i love so much because there's no other game like it uh, no other game really gives me that feeling of 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 when I play another game, the kind of passion I have for it, to even just get better. You know, I've been doing this for over a decade and playing World Series against some of the best players in the world still pushes me to become a better player. Now, I've been seeing a lot of comments recently just on about like, you know, I'm not the same player who I was, you know, this, that, and the third. A lot of people talking trash about the kind of player that I am. And a lot of times it's a lot of casual players who don't really understand that I, I really only play competitive. They'll come in my chat and say, I only got like four or five kills in a competitive game, but we're playing against some of the best players in the entire world. Now, ever since the VPN and the whole two boxy situation within Warzone. A lot of viewers and even myself don't really get any satisfaction getting high kill games in Warzone in my personal opinion. It's not what makes me get up at the end of the day. It's not what I have the most fun doing because I've never VPN in my entire Warzone career. But if I get a good gameplay, all the comments are all saying I'm VPNing. So really think about that. You could VPN or you could not VPN. It doesn't really matter. They're, they're gonna say you're VPNing regardless. So that's why there's really no passion for me to go and drop a 50 kill game or even try to shoot for that anymore. It's just not 2020 Verdansk anymore. Now right now with the state of Warzone, I think the biggest problem we all know and, and that we're seeing right now, it's kind of crazy. This is the worst cheating has ever been and there's actually a problem and a reason why this is happening. If you guys don't know, in Warzone ranked and, and all over Call of Duty in general, I don't know if it's just me, but I played a Rebirth ranked the other day and I ran into six straight hackers in a row and I got off. Now, a lot of people on Twitter have actually exposed why this is happening and this is what they say. So basically what's happening is because Warzone is now on the Xbox Game Pass, all the hackers are doing is they're making new accounts, paying $1 for the trial, uh, for the account and they're basically just logging in from the xbox game pass and it goes undetected by ricochet because it picks up as like an xbox or a console apparently and also the xbox game pass it shows that you're playing xbox apparently you become immune from reports and anti-cheat and it's not detecting if you're on xbox so it's actually pretty bad now call of duty has yet to come out and address this and, and different things like that but that's all everyone's talking about on twitter and the fact that that's even a thing is mind-blowing i mean her dance level got really bad towards the end where i mean nick and tim both quit warzone at one point because of how hacking how bad the hacking was right now it's it's, it's pretty bad man and, and, and that makes total sense with the game pass and i hope call of duty wars on whatever comes out and, and, and says something and, and actually tries to fix the problem takes wars on maybe off the game pass i don't know it sounds bad but i don't know i'm just reading what the reports are saying on social media Me lo cargué. He's cheating, he's cheating he's cheating he's cheating he's cheating oh no. what's his name adverse I have spam report him twice. Hey, you're in the tunnel. He's right under me. On me. Hey, dude, holy. Oh my god, he's a bullet. Literally a bullet. Nice, bro. Damn, bro. They're literally all doing it. Yeah, they're all cheating. They're terrible. We're about to lose. I'm just spamming the. I, know, I, know. I think one of them got banned. Bro. He's holding up top two. Hey, Activision, can we. Ban these meatballs. This guys are shooting my toes, bro. They're shooting me through the walls. They're just wall banging me all the time. One already got oh, banned. One already, yeah, one already. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Somebody's on keyboard, like shooting like he's sim. He's really rage hacking. Like, how is he not getting banned? That's what I'm saying, bro. Is the anti cheat at? There he is. He, he got banned. Did he actually? Yeah, I don't know about the third one though. Aim, aim hacking. Come here, come here, come here. Crack. Knock one. One more. On the stairwell. Stairwell, stairwell, stairwell. Survive 
trying you're trying you. Yeah, I have him. Yeah, I got a bad He's Crim 3, bro. That's what's kind of happening within Warzone at the moment. And also, I think the biggest problem I think we've had this year that a lot of people have overlooked is the, the battle between Big Map and Resurgence. And, and, and the, the studio kind of like being confused on, on what they want to do. Before Warzone ever came out, there was already Resurgence. There was Alcatraz. A lot of people already liked Resurgence. They already liked Alcatraz. It was in Blackout. But in my personal opinion, what made Warzone so special, for me, the reason why I got addicted to it was not because of Resurgence. It was because the satisfaction of winning on a big map and the different scenarios that played out on every single game was just an absolute addiction. And as we've seen the last two years with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, they put a big emphasis on Resurgence. And in my personal opinion, a, a lot of people, even a lot, a lot of YouTubers, love that but to me personally i think it really hurts the soul of the entire game in general if you look at any just successful game in general every game was a battle royale and it made it special and they made it really good and then with a Zerkistan, they, they made a map that was soulless took it down to 100 players they turned it into like almost a mini resurgence and then everything just got mixed up in between obviously rebirth coming back it was really hyped for the first month but in my personal opinion I think the hype has kind of died down. People have already played Rebirth for about three years now. They haven't really updated Rebirth at all. They haven't really updated Big Map that much as well, besides putting Superstore in towards the end of the cycle at Season 5, which, whatever. And then we have Season 6 coming up. I, I don't know what they're doing. Um, apparently, we're keeping Zerkistan until spring of next year. So, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of worried about Warzone, in my personal opinion, in the, in the state overall. Um, I'm hoping Black Ops 6 is, is going to be really good. The reason why I think Black Ops multiplayer would do really well, because it doesn't feel like any of the Modern Warfares. When I played it, it didn't feel like I was playing Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2, and I think that's really good. It's a good refresh. But I'm honestly worried. I don't know how it's going to be yet. We're going to find out at COD Next. If you guys don't know, Call of Duty Next is the big promotional event. They have all the streamers fly out. I think we're, we're flying out end of August and playing whatever. And we're going to play multiplayer zombies, and I believe we're also playing um, some type of Warzone. I don't know what it is. I think it's going to be the Resurgence map for Black Ops 6. I'm just throwing it out there. They could throw a curveball and have it be Verdansk. I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I have no clue what they even have in store for the last season of, of Modern Warfare 3 with Season 6. I think it has to do with the Halloween theme and different things like that. But overall, I'm, I'm kind of excited to play a Black Ops game and something that's totally different than the Modern Warfare. Because in my opinion, there's definitely that Modern Warfare fatigue. It's definitely setting in. You definitely can feel it. And as of today, the meta overall with Warzone and different things like that, I'm glad they're bringing guns back like the STG and different things like that. I just personally think they one, they take a little too long to update the meta and just overall what's going on in the game i mean one of the things that was pretty laughable in the latest update was the gas mass animation they finally fixed it i'm jay got tweeted about it in 2020 and they ended up fixing it in, in july of 2024 that is insane one of the also disappointing things with season five is at the start of every season if you don't remember every single update with warzone would have a storyline to it something building up to it there would be characters talking and stuff like that I mean, I truly felt with season five update, when you logged into the game, it was a literal like battle pass trailer. It was one of the most disappointing things I've seen them do. It was pretty like soulless. Like there was no storyline. It was just music with a trailer. Usually it's like a whole movie scene going on with, with within Warzone and you kind of get to follow the storylines. But it was just literally a, 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 a battle pass trailer showing all the skins it kind of made me mad so hopefully with season six they come out with some sort of like storyline or especially with the theme of halloween and different things like that with the black ops theme something cool fun interactive but i don't know i truly think we need we do need verdance in november i'm truly set on that i don't know having a Zerkistan and there's and they said in the season five update they're bringing back the big map ranked bro it's chalk the ranked after world series of warzone i'm not even gonna play ranked nobody's gonna play ranked and the way the rank systems are right now it's all cheaters so why would we play it i truly believe we need a complete new big map maybe i'm tweaking right but i mean bro you know what i'm saying i, I truly believe that I, I i don't know the hype would be crazy to have black ops 6 next month for dance i mean that's how you really get the things shaking i mean throw the ones on me please the thing that's driving me is just competitive man i've been having so much fun competing you know i get a lot of flack and a lot of hate for i don't even know like it's not even for what like our team places top five almost every tournament we play six in the qualifier and world series and i'm don't be surprised if we win the whole thing i mean I'm, we generally have just been getting better and better and people just still criticize me and call me trash and this dad the third i mean look there's a lot of teams who were considered some of the best players in the world who didn't make it to land i understand you know i'm one of the bigger creators so i'm gonna get a lot more hate in general but i've been doing this for four years i've been doing i've been actually doing this for literally 12 years and the fact there's still people who still think i cheat the, and this that and the third i mean bro i've been here forever 
for literally ever. And who knows, one day maybe I won't even play Warzone. When a new game comes out and it's fire, I may just leave it in the dust. Hopefully you guys can just, you know, appreciate the, my overall love for Call of Duty and, and why I continue to play it, you know? And like, I still have so much passion for this game. I still compete in it all the time, you know? Um, do we win any tournaments? It's very tough. It's some of the best players in the world. I'm still out there going every day, trying to provide, trying to entertain, you know what I mean? So it's kind of just frustrating, but it is what it is though. But overall, those are just my thoughts and, and opinions on the state of just Warzone in general. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I'm gonna respond, respond to some of you guys, but I mean, the Xbox Game Pass, the way the cheating is in the game right now, it's pretty bad right now, man. Hopefully we can look towards better days. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you drop like it, that subscribe button down below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. As you guys know, I'm partnered up with Underdog Fantasy. I've been with them all throughout the season, but the relationship has not ended yet. We are still rocking with Underdog, and ladies and gentlemen, the Olympics are out as we speak. If you guys go to Underdog's website, ladies and gentlemen, underdogfantasy.com and use my promo code SWAG, they match your deposit up to 100 bucks. As you guys see, they have so many picks here, including bronze Olympic pick. Like, what are we talking about? This is a guaranteed slammer. LeBron James higher on points, 15 and a half. Book it. You can do MLB, so many different things. They even have a, a section for esports, which is actually kind of crazy. They have Dota all over here. This is insane. But make sure you use promo code SWAG. We match your deposit up to 100 bucks. Link's going to be at the top of the description, man. Check out Underdog right now. What are we doing? What are we doing? I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys want a little bit more content, I have started a podcast. We have a lot of cool guests. You may learn a thing or two, man. Hit that subscribe button on Join the Lobby. Link's in the description.